All right, so let's make a game pass. So first you're going to need to publish your experience. So go to the game settings. Mine's already published. It's just called how to create a game pass for the sake of the video. But if you haven't created or if you haven't published your experience, you're going to need to do that first. So after you've published your experience, you're going to need to open the creator dashboard and click on your game here. And then on the left side, you're going to see um, a bunch of options. Click uh, associated items. It should be fourth from the top associated items and then go to passes here and then create a pass and then here is where you're going to input your icon and your in information so i'm just going to make um a silly game pass real fast so once you have um your game pass and your information you want click create pass at the bottom and you'll have this um copyright pending over here there's a faint three white dots at the top right. Click that, click copy asset ID to copy the asset ID to your clipboard, and then click the game pass. Down on the left side, you'll see um, the sales option. Click that, check item for sale, and then give it um, a price you want for uh, people to buy. So for this one, I'm just gonna make it like 10 Robux or something. Save the changes, and there you go. You have a Game Pass that's on sale for right now. Now, if you want it to actually work in your game, you're gonna need some scripting. So go to Service Script Service and insert a script. Um, in the script, um, you're gonna need the Player Service and the Marketplace Service. You're also going to need the Game Pass ID that we copied from the Game Pass in the Creator Dashboard. Just set that to a variable. And then we're going to need a function. Um, I'm going to call it like Process Game Pass for Player. And this will run for every player to check if they have the Game Pass. And if they do, then we're going to do something. So this takes in the player argument. And like I said before, it'll check if the user owns the game pass. And if they do, um, for my specific case, I'm just going to print out um, just for the sake of the video. I'm just going to print out like they have a gold star. But if it's something like um, two times walk speed or something, then you'll need to like obviously do something different, like set the walk speed or something like that. Or if they get a gravity coil that I know that's a common one for like hobby games. Um, you can just insert a tool into the player's backpack or something like that. But like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to be printing out to the console. So we have our function and now we're just going to need to um, connect it to a player added event. And we're also going to need to loop through every current player in the game and process the game pass for those players as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, if we run the game, you'll see since I own the game, I'm already going to be owning the game pass. So you'll see in the console that it'll print out that I do have a gold star and that makes me feel good. So yeah, um, please buy my game pass, please. I'm broke and I need money, but if not, I, I hope this tutorial helped you guys with um, the new uh, layout because I know some of you guys are still um, accustomed to the old one. But yeah, anyway, uh, hope this helped again. Um, have a good day.